a hot rolled 1095 steel shaft with bearings at A and C and subjected to an 8 kips force is rotating at 190 revolutions per minute. Your colleague states that a diameter of 2.4 inches will meet the desired design factor requirement of 1.8 for 10 hours of operation. You are checking their work. Is that statement correct? This is the third example for the fatigue stress concentration factors main video. Links to that video and the two first examples are in the description below. If the design factor your colleague used to calculate the diameter of the shaft was 1.8, it means that the factor of safety should be greater than 1.8. 10 hours of operation suggests that the factor of safety is not that for infinite life. So we're not using the endurance limit, but the fatigue strength for a given number of cycles. This is of course assuming that the number of cycles is between 1000 and 1 million. Once again, knowing that finding the fatigue strength and the alternating stress are two independent procedures, we'll begin with the fatigue strength first. The number of cycles for 10 hours of operation at 950 refs per minute is equal to 570,000 cycles. So we are in fact between 1,000 and 1 million cycles. The A and B coefficient will depend on F and the endurance limit. The F coefficient for a 120 KSI ultimate strength is 0.82. The endurance limit will be the product of the marine factors that apply times the rough estimate as E prime. With the endurance limit and therefore the A coefficient and B exponent, we can find the fatigue strength for 570,000 cycles. The maximum alternating bending stress will occur at the fillet where there's a stress concentration. And remember that the maximum stress does not necessarily happen where the moment is maximum. A smaller diameter and a stress concentration can make up for the fact that the moment is not the maximum. A quick free body diagram, shear diagram and bending moment diagram will reveal that the moment at the notch is 20 kip inches. The fatigue stress concentration depends on Q and KT, like we've seen before, which depend on the notch radius and the ultimate strength for Q, and the notch radius to smaller diameter ratio, and the two diameter ratios for the static stress concentration factor for a round shaft with shoulder fillet and bending. With a fatigue stress concentration factor of 1.55, we find an alternating stress of 22.84 KSI which indeed results in a factor of safety of 1.84, a factor of safety that is higher than the original design factor. Thanks for watching.